course you can call me daddy. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can find me at james.desbra, Post Muslim Studios, all one word, JD Writer and JGD Games. Hello lovelies. Uh, I'm on Odyssey now. O-D-Y-S-E-E, -E, which is yet another YouTube alternative. Whether this one will stick around or not, I don't know. Now, it's on the library infrastructure, L-B-R-Y. It's just um, a nicer face, I guess, than the other library-based uh, video sites were. What is wrong with Vowels? Come on. Come on, Crypto Bros. What is wrong with Vals? So, how is Odyssey? Um, well, it's a lot like the, the Hollow Earth. It's a neat idea, entirely populated by primitive tribes and Nazis. So basically, it has the same issue as every other alternative platform, in that everyone that you've cast out from the main platforms while they may or may not deserve it, a, a significant proportion of them probably do and end up migrating to any alternative that comes along, meaning that anyone else's experience of that new alternative is wall-to-wall -wall fascism, which uh, isn't great. <sighs> so, the plus sides of Odyssey. Well, unlike BitChute, its video importer tool from YouTube actually seems to work, so it's a pretty decent backup. If you want to have your videos backed up somewhere where they won't necessarily get censored. Uh, unlike YouTube, you can succeed with controversial topics, news and politics and so on. You don't get artificially suppressed. So the first video, besides uh, all my initial backups, uh, was about was about Ukraine um, and that got heavily suppressed on YouTube whereas on Odyssey it's garnered over 23,000 hits at this point versus yeah, two, 200 on YouTube which goes goes to show I suppose um, the stark difference between the two of course the comments are mostly trash but uh, yeah it's a pattern in my life really start out really strong and uh, then slowly fade out to nothing so yeah that, uh, that that fits the pattern it's fairly secure from censorship at least hypothetically because blockchain a solution in search of a problem uh, but it seems to have found some sort of place in anti-censorship uh, actively uncensored social media even like hive and so on but the problem is that all these alternative platforms, while they might be less vulnerable to censorship, are vulnerable to exploitation by crypto bros and sudden and abrupt forks that have nothing to do with the user base and everything to do with a handful of dickish investors, but um, there you go. It also imports your videos fairly rapidly, so you're not waiting around days to see whether it actually does import your video or ever will as you are with, say, BitChute. So, the, the minus side. Now, my god, it's full of Nazis and trolls. With the conflict in the Ukraine and the sanctions on Russia, Russian trolls seem to have disappeared to, to some extent from the, uh, from the normie internet, but uh, they haven't disappeared from Odyssey. So if you do comment on Ukraine, as I did, you will get a flood of pro-Russian propaganda and contrarian bullshit. If YouTube's ruthless censorship has any upside, it's that you don't have to wade through yards of shitty takes by white supremacists banging on about majus, etc. You only get maybe one of those to every 10 neutral, or useful or bog-standard trolling comments. On Odyssey, that proportion's pretty much reversed. It's it's 10 shitty, awful, terrible comments by white supremacists and Russian troll farms to every neutral or useful comment you might otherwise get. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, do they get mad when you delete their propaganda and nonsense from your comments. Look, listen, fuckwits, 
Being for free expression and discussion does not mean I have to put up with any and all half-baked nonsense, propaganda or life-threatening conspiracy gibbering that you slime over everything like fake cum in a bukkake video. You screaming in my ear about how international Jewry is out to control people using lizard DNA and vaccines isn't a discussion. It's someone in the next stall at a pub bathroom having a loud and obvious wank because he likes other people to hear him. No, dude. I'm out. I'm going to go and piss in the beer garden instead. Downvoted comments, or slimed comments as it is an odyssey, can end up auto-deleted. I'm not sure if this happens to videos too. I guess we'll find out in time. And high view count videos, like my Ukraine video, doesn't necessarily translate to subscribers in a way that it does perhaps on, on YouTube. So after that 23,000 hit breakout video, uh, I am still struggling to get 100 subscribers on, <laughs> on Odyssey. Whereas on YouTube, a video that hit that amount, you might get a hundred new followers or something out of it. So yeah. Uh, another major downside is it, of course, it's, it's fucking crypto. And if you want to get paid from your videos on Odyssey, you're going to have to navigate that whole bunch of scammery and opaque or missing explanations about what any of it means, how it's supposed to work, how you're supposed to use it on the site to promote any of your videos or anything, or God forbid you want to cash out into actual useful spendable money. So all things considered, it's it's a great backup. It has real, genuine, organic discoverability. There's no apparent shadow banning or downlisting, but it does seem like they want you to invest in their cryptocurrency and use that to boost the visibility of your videos, which um, you can take as, as the same way, only scammy, but at least it's not quite so authoritarian. It is rife, as usual, with the worst kind of refugees from other platforms and crypto bro horse shit. And uh, also, for a free speech platform, uh, it censors porn, which Libri didn't, uh, but it did apparently censor fucking vowels. Uh, so Libri was closed down in favour of Odyssey, being marginally more normie friendly. Um, but also because they were being sued for selling unregistered securities, uh, which just fills you in with fucking confidence over the crypto bros who are, who are running the site, obviously. So, Odyssey, can I recommend it? Use it as a backup um, to pitch your less advertiser-friendly content um, and to experience the, the worst side, but not the best side of the, the Wild West frontier that the internet used to be. So, I wouldn't focus on it, but it's interesting as a content creator to see the differences between the platforms but it's not really a solution until they get rid of the opaque crypto bullshit um, and until there's a decent proportion of sane and sensible people using the platform, which doesn't seem likely given the, the current numbers there, who will put everyone else off. And it's not a free speech platform because they don't have tits. Zang. There's a magical time on the cusp of true adolescence where you're no longer quite a child and not yet an adult. A time where the confidence of the teenager and the wonder of the child combine in a surge of optimism, hope and imagination to make some of the most important moments of our lives. There's a rich vein of films that tap into this time. These are the films where the kids save the world, find something fantastical or solve a problem that the adults can't or wouldn't even believe existed. Some of these are fantastical, some are not. Some are a loving homage to the older versions of the same sorts of stories. If you like The Goonies, Super 8, The Monster Squad, or Explorers, this is a game for you and your kids. Available at post-mort.com and drive through RPG.
of your final survival of the fittest case. Mine is right on, right on, craze. Smoke and the mirrors, twisted maze. Are you strong enough?